Good morning, Patriots. I'm Angelica Nabola. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Friday, February 21st, 2020. Now let's go to DeAndre to see what happens in history today. Thank you, Angelica. Today in history, on February 21st, 1990, the Batman theme by Danny Elfman won the Grammy Award for the Best Instrumental Composition at 32nd Annual Grammy Awards. Now. Let's go to Amari to see what's for lunch. Thank you, DeAndre. Today for lunch, we have homestyle Salisbury steak, chick crispy chicken patty, mashed potatoes, romaine salad, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Angelica. Thank you, Amari. That sounds delicious. In school news, the book fair is now open to next Friday, the 28th. So don't forget to read all those amazing books. Also, the Wax Figure Walk is today. Thank you, Angelica. Welcome to Let's Talk. I'm Isabel Montes. Today with us here we have Mr. Bardoni. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, how has your first year at Rex Pines been so far? It's been challenging, um, but it's been fun. I love our leadership, I love our staff, I love all our teachers and especially our scholars. I think everyone is amazing. They've welcomed me with like an open arms with family, so I think, I think it's been great. Thank you. And what's your top priority as an assistant principal? My top priority as an assistant principal here is I do the operational side. Um, Ms. Cavell, which is our other assistant principal, does all the um, educational side. Um, academics, I do operational. So I deal with the field trips, I deal with um, uh, facilities, um, I deal with Officer Mario, and Mr. Polly, I work alongside them. Um, and then most importantly, just like all our administrators' duties are, is making sure that our teachers are supported and giving all the support that they need. Okay, now for some more fun questions. If you could eat one food for a whole year, what would it be? If I had one food, it would be asado. Yeah. And what's your favorite joke? Favorite joke, um, a, we had a teacher, her eyes were crossed for the entire day. You know why? Why? She couldn't control her pupils. <laughs> not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's the lightning round. What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie has to probably be The Notebook. Funny. Would you rather buy online or buy at the mall? At the mall. I have to buy at the mall. What's your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show um, was 24, a show called 24. Would you rather drink tea or coffee? Tea. And would you rather eat salty or sweets? Sweets. I'm very... That's it for our learning round. Thank you, Mr. Barzoni, for joining us today. Um, Thank you, everyone, for having me. We'll back to you, Angelica. Now let's go to weather with Jaden. Thank you, Angelica. Today in weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida, for, is forecasted to be 75 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly cloudy. Now let's go back to Angelica. Thank you, Jaden. On admin announcement, teachers, please be at your door to welcome your scholars at 7.35 a.m. Attendance must be taken at 8.30 a.m. Additionally, teachers, don't forget to provide your scholars with positive hair points. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, teach your schools and learn respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Kane, who had the correct answer to a trivia question, which was, there have only been four African-American governors, name one of them. The correct answer to a trivia question was Henry Clay Warmouth, Donald Wilder, Demma Patrick, or David Patterson. Now for today's Black History Month trivia. Which musician is hailed as the creator of Afrobeat and his platform to call the political and social progress in Africa? I repeat, which musician is hailed as a creator of Afrobeat and used his platform to call for political and social progress in Africa? Teachers, send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a fab 
fantastic Friday. And remember, we set your mindset. Have a great day.